here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit like and subscribe button like and subscribe button here we have another crazy story another crazy story they sell a lot of individuals go out of their way to commit crimes and in return you know they feel like you know what i'm the man i'm the man here what this guy has to say right here Without naming any names, who caught the most bodies that you know of? Without naming who it is, but just the number of bodies that that person is allegedly tied to. Think about that. Think about that. Someone asks you a question as a grown man, grown man, about one of the most heinous, heinous crimes known onto mankind about it and instead of you say you know what i'm muslim now i don't want to indulge in the nonsense this individual decided to go above and beyond in a sense keep the same nonsense up kind of like glorifying murders in a sense unbelievable that you know of personally. I don't put myself in it. She's not got immunity for murders. I don't want. Think about that. Right now, you're hearing from a murderer. Someone who separated their, you know, someone from their loved ones, families. And it's crazy, but it's really like that, though. It's really like that. Put myself in the people. Like, you being biased, gangster? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna put myself. Take in. I, I did get a murder for murders. Sure. Um, I'm gonna go with. It's two people I know. Black emo, who I used to run with. I said you don't have to name names, but go ahead. Yeah, he, he's deceased, but right. people know him. Uh, I told you. I told you. I told you. Most individuals, they can't get any type of respect on the streets unless they brag about the crimes that they commit. And once they go behind the bars, they say, oh, 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 you snitched on me. Even though they're the one who told you about what they did. The life of a criminal. Um. Black and more, and, and there's another one killed out my president, Eric Maurice. Um, and how many bodies are each of them allegedly tied to? I know Black and more is 15. 15 bodies? Yeah, Black and more. And, I, and, and, and that's from my time, what I knew about. Hmm. He was out there before. So when I make these videos about individuals crying behind the bars, <laughs> A lot of individuals say I'm a clown in my comment sections. But in reality, some of these individuals belong behind the bars. Some of them are wild animals without their leashes on. I was walking down the street today. A dog almost attacked me. And his owner, like, he couldn't, you know, control him. That's how some of these individuals are out here. They're like wild animals. <laughs> it's hard to control them. Think about that. 15 murders. 15 families who have to go out of their way to come out up with unnecessary money to bury their loved ones from one individual alone. And I tell you, these criminals right here, they commit crimes to go brag about it. Unbelievable. He's a little older than I am. Um, Eric Maurice, about 10, that I know of, because Eric Maurice is just somebody, uh, maybe he's still wrapped about him when he dressed up like a clown and killed somebody in the project. So it's story. Dressed up like a clown. Yeah, in broad daylight. That's what I'm saying. So it's, so it's a lot of stuff that these youngsters doing. This individual is telling the story with a big smile on his face. Like, oh, I know people who know how to pull a trigger. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they know how to pull a trigger. But I heard that 
a, a three-year-old or a four-year-old not to pull a trigger the same way. So these individuals are bragging about things that babies could do. And when they go behind the bars, they start crying like babies. Unbelievable. They've been doing it down my way in my city, you know, so you know, we, we used to that kind of stuff. Um, but a lot of these guys are dating. The rappers be rapping about the stuff that they know and they seen too, you know. But, and here's the thing, Vlad. Here's the thing right here. These tough guys go behind the bars and they have to be in those jail cells watching the next individual and smelling the next individual taking a number two. Think about that. They're so tough on the streets, drawn for guns, and when they're behind the bars, they're drawn to put their shirts over their nose because you have a next human being doing something you're supposed to be doing personally in front of your face. You have no choice but to smell it. Unbelievable. These tough guys. I can't figure out these tough guys. I am I am only speaking on the Magnolia Project, but there are people that are in the fed that might got more than them, but you know how people are like, man, and they're in the fed though, but they got life. Um, Notorious dressing up like a woman, killing people. And a lot of people gonna see this video, know what I'm talking about. These individuals, a lot of them belong behind the bars. They commit murders and laugh about it. And they expect individuals to be sorry for them when they locked up. And to send them canteen money. Think about that. Commissary. Why they out here separating people from their families, destroying the community? Unbelievable. But I tell you this right here, though. It seems like these criminals are not planning on stopping being criminals anytime soon. It's crazy. They got bodies. They One of them was bodies. a juvenile. Yeah, he's fighting. He got life. He's fighting to get out now. They've been out like thirty something years. I mean, fifteen bodies. I was watching this video. A few of them from the Angola prison, Louisiana. A lot of these young men, they changed now. They're old now. They commit these crimes, and they're about. 18, 19, probably just turned 20 a week ago before they, you know, now they're in their 40s, 50s. They're good boys now. They're good boys now. So basically, a lot of these individuals is just stimulating the economy. Without them, we wouldn't need any police officers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So you like that, though. Entertainment purposes. That's it. That's it. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. That's a serial killer. That's a serial killer. I heard y'all saying, saying about three. It's a serial killer. Well, yeah. Three, well, yeah. Is, definitely three is definitely a serial killer. But 15, but 15, is, 15 is, serial killer, killer, is serial killer, mass murderer. But here's the thing. But here's the thing. You know, growing up, you know, growing up in the hood, in the hood uh, taking hits, taking hits uh, robbing, uh, robbing, taking hits. A lot of these individuals are committing crimes and getting paid for it. They're separating individuals from their families and getting paid for it. So when a lot of these individuals go behind the bars and they start saying, free me, free me. Believe it or not, they're supposed to be behind the bars. They're not killing someone out of um, um, religious purposes or... Um, um, you know what I'm saying? They're just doing it for money. And then they want you to have sympathy for them. Unbelievable. Entertainment purpose, that's it. People for drugs, fighting over territory, was like the norm for us. Fighting over territory... 
a lot of these young individuals, they don't have any their own beds. They don't know their fathers. A lot of them don't even know how to spell the word territory, believe it or not. So basically what's going on right now, you have individuals out there talking about murders like it's nothing. Unbelievable. You know, um, the, the, the serial killer, the mass murder stuff didn't come about that we heard of until this day and time with the social media. So now they get to point out, okay, have you killed more than... Who came up with the idea? Who's why I gotta be three? Why I can't be two? You know, so who came prime example like they in my case they So you hear the you have this individual right here saying, talking about murders. Unbelievable. Bragging about it, happy about it. Like he's a like he's a, a See the high boys gang, right? Just, and I looked at it, I said, how do you go call us a game? Ain't no game. They say, uh, two or more or four. Well, like it's two or more. So the point of this video right here is basically a lot of individuals belong behind the bars. Well, some people would say they belong six feet deep. But you know what I mean. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. You know, you mean. Keep it, you mean. A lot of these individuals belong behind the bars. A lot of these individuals, believe it or not, when they take someone's life, they're happy about it. They're not remorseful, at least not in the beginning. Probably sometimes it takes them thirty years to get remorseful. And I believe the reason why a lot of these individuals get remorseful is because they know they day is coming soon because it's been like 30 years later and they could only live for so long. Plus, a lot of them want to get out of, you know, get from behind the bars. As I said, a lot of these individuals are good actors. But... That's a street life. So basically, the street life is going out of your way to go to jail, selling drugs, doing murders. That's a real street life. They're not going to tell you about when you go behind the bars. You don't have the luxury of taking a shower in privacy. You know, you're forced to have a next man, you know, look at you from head to toe, literally. You can't do anything about it. These individuals not telling you what comes along with the street life. Just talking about the murders. That's it. These individuals are not telling you about the, the probes they have to go through, if you know what I mean, behind the bars. I'm just talking, that's it. Street life's a crazy life. Unbelievable. So next time, S Service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend, I'm just talking. Here we go, here we go. Welcome to street life. I thought I had friends. But I don't have no effing friends. <laughs>